Today is a day for believing impossible things. Some people find it impossible to believe that men have walked on the moon. Stephen Hawking, the genius physicist who died recently, believed in a time before the Big Bang. And he says in a paper that was published just last week, 3D reality is an illusion. Christians are asked to believe some especially impossible things at this time of year. We are asked to believe that the dead can come back to life. We are asked to believe that a man who was killed and buried emerged alive from his tomb. We are asked to believe that after spending more than a month meeting people, this man was taken up into a cloud as people watched. We are asked to believe that a week later, his followers were baptized with the Holy Spirit. He sent down a fire that changes people. And we are asked to believe that Jesus is this man. Some people some people agree with Alice. This is what Alice said. Alice said, there's no use trying. One can't believe impossible things. But the White Queen responded that Alice probably hadn't had much practice. The Queen said, sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. This is a Sunday when Christians are reminded that Jesus was taken up by God. Luke says in Acts 1-2 that he was taken up to heaven. We're asked to believe that hell and heaven are real. And that Jesus has already been taken up to heaven in his new body. The British theologian, Tom Wright, insists that heaven is one of the most misused religious words around today, with the possible exception of the word God itself. He says the biblical notion of heaven is not of a place far away beyond the blue or up in the sky. Nor is it simply as some say in reaction to that older notion, a state of mind or a state of heart that some people can attain here and now. Heaven is God's space. It interacts with our space, but it transcends it. It is, if you like, a further dimension of our world, not a place far removed at one extreme of our world. It's all around us, glimpsed in every act of generous human love. We are reminded of it by the beauty of creation, which points beyond itself to the fuller beauty that is God's own beauty. We are reminded of hell by the unbelievable, senseless cruelty that exists around us. We glimpse hell in the stories of people who have suffered in North Korea and escaped to tell us their painful reality. And it seems impossible that it's happening today in this country. So, I ask you now to listen to our guest from North Korea, Kang Byung, Joseph, as he asks you to believe some of the impossible things that he has experienced in his life. I would like you to pray with me now. <laughs> 